a familiar tradition for the Scott family. I will support the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Republican Governor Phil Scott officially taking Vermont's top office for his fourth term. After a few long years, it's good to be back in the people's house where Vermonters have come together from across the state in our darkest times and finest hours to solve problems for their communities and help their neighbors. In his inaugural address Thursday afternoon, Governor Scott promising to tackle issues closest to Vermonters, hoping the next two years are spent working on stabilizing health care, housing, mental health, climate change, broadband, and more. <laughs> A big area of priority meeting the needs of Vermont's smallest and more rural cities and towns. The challenges that people face in all these struggling communities are just as urgent as any pandemic or any flood to them. The governor also standing firmly behind his plan for paid medical and family leave, while Democrats come in with a different approach. I took some issue with the idea that paid family leave is something that should be voluntary and should fall only to those who need it. Overall, top Democrats like Chittenden County State Senator Keisha Rom Hinsdale believe that the governor is prepared to collaborate with a majority Democratic legislator that is also welcoming many new faces into both chambers. Vermonters are asking us to work together and I heard that call from the governor and the question is if we can all stay at the table. I certainly hope we do. A joint statement from Senate Pro Tem Phil Baruth and House Speaker Jill Krawinski echo that sentence adding that together we will govern with purpose, meet the challenges before us, and build a stronger future for all Vermonters. <laughs>